I am Bhavesh Mahajan here and I am going to explain Gaiko Piano opening for white. First I am doing the main line and then I will do the variations. The main line starts after the moves E4, E5, Knight F3, Knight C6, Bishop C4, Bishop C5 and now C3. The idea of the move C3 is to play D4 so that we can control and gain the center. Now black will attack our e4 pawn by knight f6. We will attack his bishop with d4. So he has to take our pawn and we will take his pawn. If he moves a bishop to b6 then e5 and we have control of the center and it is very advantageous for white. So the only good move for black here is to give a check. He will block it with the knight and he will take our pawn due to the pain. He will castle here and now we are threatening to take his knight. If he takes our knight with the bishop, he will play d5, attacking his knight as well as his bishop. So if he plays knight e5, attacking our bishop on c4, we will take his bishop and he will take our bishop. We will play here queen d4, attacking the two knights, also the g7 pawn. If he tries to defend it by knight d6, then we will take the g7 pawn, queen f6, we will exchange the queens and give a check on e1. If he plays knight e4 here, then we can play knight d2, f5 and f3. Now we can win the knight on e4 and all the pieces are equal so white, is in, uh, white has a lead in development and is a better move. If black plays here king f8, then we will give a check on h6. He has to play king g8 and now rook e5. We are threatening a mate on g5, so he has to block, uh, block it by playing uh, knight to d4, knight to e4. We will play knight to g5, attacking his knight and uh, removing the defender so that we can mate him. If he attacks our rook, then we will take his knight. We will take our rook, then knight f6 to the check move. If he takes our knight on e4, then rook e8 is a check move. Now uh, we are going to do uh, variation 1. Variation one's, uh, 1 is after the moves. Knight f3, knight c6, bishop c4, bishop c5, c3, knight f6, d4, pawn takes pawn, pawn takes pawn, bishop check, and now bishop d2. If uh, black here takes our pawn on e4, then we will take his bishop, we will take our bishop, and now bishop into f7. We will take with the king, and now queen b3 check, giving a check as well as attacking the knight on e4. So he will block it by the pawn, knight e5 check. King e6 and now we will take the knight. Now I am going to do variation 2. Variation 2 is after the moves e4, e5, knight f3, knight c6, bishop c4, bishop c5 c3, 
write f6 d4 e into d4 c into d4 bishop b4 check knight c3 knight into pawn castling knight takes knight pawn takes knight bishop takes pawn bishop a3 now we are controlling the f x square so that he can't castle now if black uh, here uh, takes our rook then rook e1 is uh, now winning for white because black has to here play knight e7 he will take the knight he has to capture it by the queen he will take his queen he will take our rook and now he will take his bishop so we are uh, material up and this is easily winning for white now we are uh, going to do variation 3. Variation 3 is after the moves e4, e5, knight f3, knight c6, bishop c4, bishop c5, c3, knight f6, Four into D four C into D four Bishop B four check Knight C three Knight into E four Castling Knight takes C three B takes C three and now d5 so that when we take his bishop he will take our bishop he will here uh, take his bishop he has to take our bishop and now we will leave a check on e1 he has to block it by knight because if he plays bishop e6 here then it loses to d5 due to the pin on the e5 He has to play a knight e7. 